Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to yet another episode in Bin's Wellness Secrets. From the healthy stuff that I'm going to show you, today is one of my favorite ingredients in greens, which I use it in smoothies, I use it in salads, and now I'm going to show you a recipe where I'm going to bake it. Greens for baking. Just tell me what it could be. So I have taken my favorite uh, leafy green, which is the curly kale. As you know, there are more than one type of kale. There is a La Cianto kale, there's a red kale, there's a red boar kale, but this is the most commonly found variety here, especially in the Middle East. And it belongs to a group of vegetables, uh, includes cabbage, cauliflower, collards, and Brussels sprouts. Whereas the full scientific name is Brassica oleracea, and it's an annual plant that flourishes well in the rich organic soil and prefers cool climate and light frost conditions. So let's see what are the ingredients that goes into this baking of kale. So I have taken one to two bunches of green kale which is washed, cut into small pieces. I have taken a teaspoon of salt, the pink salt a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of sesame oil or you can even have avocado oil as a choice. I've taken some brown sugar or you can use sweetener if you don't want to go for sugar and some sesame seeds for garnish. All I'm going to do is going to put all of this into my bowl, the olive oil, the sesame oil, okay and sugar just for the sweet touch and I'm going to mix that thing up all right now what I'm going to do is to bake this for 10 to 15 minutes in an oven at about 350 degrees Celsius there I'm back after 10 minutes Look at that kale, it's become crispy. Now it's become the super trend uh, everywhere. Instead of munching on a potato chip, it's always good to eat chips, like which is of the healthier variety. This is like a kale superfood chips for you. All you need to do, take care is not to over bake them because we just want to retain as much as possible the nutritive value of the kale. So bake till the water dries out and doesn't burn the edges. At the same time, you can enjoy this as a very, very low calorie, tasty, yummy snack. Crispy and nice alternative to potatoes and other starchy and high fat chips. Mm. I hope you like this recipe. I use kale for other smoothies, for salads and things like that. And this is the different variety that I've tried today. So let me know if you've liked the video, if you've liked the recipe, try them out for sure. And also share your recipes in the comments below. Thank you for watching.